Well, new here at 5, a new chapter of aviation is beginning at Edwards Air Force Base as they unveil a first-of-its-kind electric aircraft. Eyewitness News reporter Kyle Bentz was there for the ribbon-cutting ceremony this morning and shows us that new tech. When it comes to transportation, the U.S. is going electric. That's also the case for the U.S. Air Force, who today was the first ever recipient of an eVTOL aircraft right here at Edwards Air Force Base. One, two, three. <laughs> Made by Joby Aviation, the eVTOL is also the first electric air taxi delivered to the U.S. Air Force. The innovation service within the Air Force, known as AFWorks, partnered with Joby, as well as NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. There's a lot of innovation that's happening outside of military channels. Uh, and in fact, the, the original airplane was actually designed outside of government channels. Uh, so the Wright brothers did it completely on their own. It was supposed to be delivered to Edwards Air Force Base next year, but it came a few months ahead of schedule. It is, to our knowledge, the first delivery of an aircraft to a customer anywhere in the world. And over time, as we test, as we build capabilities, it will be the first revenue that is generated by any company in the world for an eVTOL aircraft. With that, the future of aviation. The Air Force considers the new eVTOL a huge milestone for the industry. The world's first EV aircraft at Edwards can fly up to 100 miles on a single charge at speeds up to 200 miles per hour, all while holding up to four people. It also has fewer parts than a helicopter, making it easy to fly. There's a lot that's different about electric propulsion, and there's a lot that's the same, right? There's things we understood as a, as a community, as an industry, and then things that, you know, we didn't quite anticipate, but uh, they're all workable problems. It's just working through it, and it takes a while. Crews use several variations of the prototype to conduct thousands of test flights, and Joby spent countless hours learning how it operates within the airspace. This is a, a really impressive capability, and, uh, and we're going to get to testing it and see how good it really is. And while this new air taxi marks the future of flight for our military and beyond, that's not all, as Edwards Air Force Base is set to receive a second eVTOL aircraft in early 2024. At Edwards Air Force Base, Kyle Betts, Eyewitness News.